Still on the look for some cool smart home tech for your friends and family? Then I've got you covered with my 12 picks for the best holiday gifts that range from under $30 all the way up to over $1,000. Lots of options no matter what your budget is, it's time to get into it. For consistency, all prices are in US dollars and are as of recording. Keep your eyes out for holiday deals though, making these even more affordable. I've included links in the description to all the products mentioned in today's video. Let's start off with gifts under $30. These make great stocking stuffers. This is the Matter Nightlight from Third Reality, and it only costs $23. Third Reality is a smart home company that recently started introducing Matter, so they work with all the major ecosystems, including, of course, Apple Home. It's a nightlight with a built-in motion sensor. The advantage here is you can adjust the brightness or color, or control when the nightlight turns on. Once added, the motion sensor, light sensor, and light are all exposed to Apple Home, giving you lots of flexibility within your smart home automations. Activate the lights when motion is detected during certain hours or based on the current light level. My setup is pretty simple. When motion is detected, the night light turns turquoise between sunset and 11 p.m. Then from 11 p.m. until sunrise, when motion is detected, the light comes on with a dim, warm white light. Perfect at just a little bit of light when someone's up in the middle of the night. I have just one, but I could see having more being cool if you have a long hallway perhaps, where the lights just continuously turn on as you walk. It's also just a nice accent light to include in my smart home, and you can always have different colors depending on the time of year, like green or red for Christmas. And because it's a motion sensor, you could also include other automations as well, like having other lights in your house turn on. It's a neat little device for under $30 with many great uses. Third Reality is also releasing a Matter Hub that will connect their existing Zigbee devices to Apple Home, like their vibration sensor, motion sensor, door and window sensor, and more. I'm liking this little light so far, so I'll be interested to test out more third reality devices next year. Also under $30, AirTags. Not really a smart home device per se, but it's a great little gift for your Apple friends and family who may consistently lose their things. You can get an AirTag for about $23 on Amazon or $30 from the Apple store. I use AirTags for keys, wallets, my kids' backpacks, and they're great to include in suitcases and bags when traveling. Exter sent me a couple of their AirTag wallets to feature on a video earlier this year, and having an AirTag on my wallet has definitely saved me a couple of times. It looks nice, and it doesn't add a lot of bulk. It's a very useful gift for under $30. The ones on Amazon are generic, but they still look nice, or pay a little bit more on the Apple Store and get free engraving. So tons of uses for an AirTag, and a great gift for the person like me, who often forgets where they left their items. Next, let's take a look at gifts in the $30 to $50 range. Still not terribly expensive, but we're getting beyond stocking stuffer territory now. Up first is the Bololo tripod stand for the HomePod Mini, which comes in at around $33. Obviously, this is for the person that already has a HomePod Mini. These stands are elegant and simple and help to class up your HomePod Mini. Followers of the channel know that I've been obsessed with the Bololo stand since I bought my first one a few years ago. The wooden legs come in both American Walnut and Oak to fit your personal style. It's a great addition to anyone who already has a HomePod Mini. I actually just realized while doing my research for this video that Bololo is now selling a tripod stand for their regular HomePod as well. Once I saw this, I had to get one, so that's in the mail as we speak. Update, my Bololo stand just arrived and it's nice. I love the way the full-size HomePod looks on this stand. It costs a little bit more at around $55 because it's larger, but it's still a fair price. Bololo has a bunch of stuff to add style and function to your workspace like a desk cockpit, headphone stand, laptop dock, and more. So many gift ideas, and I have a discount code in the description to save you 10% off your order. Between $30 and $40, you can pick up the Maris Essential Oil Diffuser. There's a couple of design options to choose from, and it comes in a light or dark wood finish. Not real wood here, this is made of plastic, which helps to keep the cost down, but it still looks nice. I have the light and dark version, and they work well. They add some humidity to those dry winter days, and help your air to smell amazing by adding a few drops of your favorite essential oil. Since this works in Apple Home, you can use the Home app or Siri to turn it on or off, adjust the intensity, or change the color of the light. You can also create a schedule so it smells amazing when you wake up in the morning or when you get home from work, and then just have it turn off a couple of hours later. Okay, now let's jump into the $50 to $100 level. I've got three favorites that I wanna share, Though truthfully, they're all closer to that $100 price, but regardless, these will make excellent gifts. Twinkly Dots and Flex both start at around $95 and make excellent gifts, especially for kids who want to take their kid den to the next level. 
Kids, especially teenagers, love these kinds of lights in their bedroom. My 13 year old loves the ones that she has and my nine year old has been asking for them as well recently. We'll just have to see if Santa comes through there. I'll share my full review in the description if you want to learn more. The dots are tiny LEDs that are meant to be seen. They come with an adhesive and stick to the wall. They work in Apple Home so you can control the power and brightness or include them in your scenes and automations. But in the Twinkly app, you get access to some really cool effects. Twinkly Flex is an LED tube that you can shape into many cool patterns. Some templates are provided, which really helps, but you can also just create your own. My daughter went with the cloud and I think it looks really cool. You can also group the lights together so they play effects in sync. Definitely a cool gift for under $100. My number one favorite smart lamp is E-Flare. This is a battery operated lamp in the shape of a globe. It has a matte white finish and it looks super cool. It's only 90 lumens, so it's not terribly bright and definitely intended more as an accent light. It comes with a base where you can just leave it there for continuous power, or you can move it around using the battery, which Eve claims can last over six hours. And I've been able to get over 24 hours with dim light. It's IP65 rated, so you can take it outside, maybe bring it along with you on your camping trip, or add some accent light on the patio. E-Flare was also updated from Bluetooth to Thread earlier this year, so now it's even faster to respond. There aren't any effects, just solid color, but I think E-Flare makes a unique gift that anyone would be excited about. Lastly, for $100, the HomePod Mini. How could I not include this? It's a great little speaker for the price. It comes in black, white, or three colors, and looks even better on the Blolo tripod stand. And since it's small, it's easy to find a home for it. You can airplay, or even better, use it to play your favorite Apple Music playlist. It's also your HomeKit hub, which allows you to use Apple Home remotely, and it's a thread border router so you can utilize thread accessories like eFlare. Send messages, make phone calls, add items to your shopping list, or activate your favorite accessories or scenes. If you have multiple HomePod minis, then you can intercom to tell your kids that it's time to come down for dinner, or let them know it's almost time for bed. At $100, this is an essential item for anyone that's interested in Apple Home. Okay, now things are getting a little bit pricier, but if you're looking for that special gift, these next products won't disappoint. At $130 is the Airversa Humel Smart Humidifier. You may be familiar with Airversa's Air Purifier, another HomeKit product that also uses thread, but I don't think many people are gifting air purifiers. Or am I wrong? Still, you may be thinking, okay, humidifier is a helpful appliance to have in the home during the dry winter months, but is it gift worthy? Well, as a humidifier, it's certainly practical and it can really make the difference when it comes to avoiding dry skin over the winter. And it's especially helpful when you have it in your bedroom when you're sick. There's two things though that, in my opinion, set this apart from a regular humidifier and make it a great gift. First, this includes an essential oil tray to make your air smell amazing. Unlike a true essential oil diffuser like the Maris one I discussed earlier, you don't drop the oil into the reservoir. In fact, that could damage the unit over time. Instead, add a few drops of oil onto the pad and place it into the essential oil tray. Second, it includes a cool smart light along the bottom of the unit. I love smart lights, so I always appreciate when companies include them in their products. You can change the color or brightness of the light in the home app, but using the Sleek Point app, you can activate some different lighting effects. The Humel includes a temperature and humidity sensor, so you can set your humidity level and then just turn it to auto, or use manual mode and set the intensity level that you want. The temperature and humidity sensor are also exposed to Apple Home, as well as the different modes like manual, sleep, and auto, which I appreciate because it lets me control it using my flick buttons. I have mine in my bedroom. It makes sense because I spend a third of my day sleeping. When I activate the sleep mode, it turns the motor to quiet and then turns the light off. I know I would love to get this for Christmas. Honestly, perhaps you'd like to share this video with a friend or family to drop some not so subtle hints. Now we're jumping to $200 and I wanna cover a product that I've never talked about before. This is the Devoom Pixu 64 and it's pretty neat. It's approximately 10 inches on each side with 64 pixels up and down. This doesn't actually work with HomeKit, but I have it attached to an Apple Home Smart Plug so I can just power it on or off or include it in my Apple Home scenes and automations. Like many lighting products, the fun happens in the manufacturer app. Devoom in this case. I was surprised to see all the different pixel art to choose from. It's pretty crazy. There are different categories and look at how many there are just under Christmas. Find a classic piece under museum or search for what you're looking for. It would take me forever to go through all of the options, but as you can see, there are tons. Some of them look really cool and have such appreciation for anyone that can create these. If you have a favorite artist, then you can follow them to track their new designs. There's also a clock gallery where you can keep track of sports scores, monitor the weather, and get a holiday countdown, and even view your social channels. 
You can also create your own, which could be a lot of fun, though I think it's best if I let the experts do that. This comes with a stand to fit it on a shelf or a desk, or you can mount it to the wall. It's pretty obvious why this would make a cool Christmas gift, especially if paired with an Apple Home Smart Plug. While it retails for $200, it's often less than that, so check the link for the best current price. Onto a favorite of mine, Nanoleaf Shapes. Any child or teenager, and let's be honest, adult, would be over the moon to receive Nanoleaf Shapes. For $200, you can get a starter kit, or smarter kit as they call it, with triangles or hexagons or nanoleaf lines. With nanoleaf triangles and hexagons, you have the option between white or ultra black. Both are cool, though the ultra black is my personal favorite. With nanoleaf lines, they come in white, but you can add black skins like I've done on mine, or even go with pink. There's an endless number of scenes to choose from, or you can create your own. And what I like about nanoleaf is the option to sync your scenes with Apple Home, so then you can activate them with Siri. My son has a mixture of shapes above his headboard. I put them on a schedule with various scenes, but he can easily change the scene with his HomePod Mini or simply by using the controller. Nanoleaf shapes can especially be fun for holidays. For Halloween, I mounted these hexagon shapes into a ghost pattern and check out this Christmas tree pattern using nanoleaf triangles. This could be a great space saving idea for anyone with limited space and definitely a good conversation piece. So if you want to give someone something that will really stand out this holiday season, then nanoleaf shapes is a great way to go. Okay, two more gift ideas to go. We talked about the $100 HomePod Mini earlier. Well, if you're looking to spend a little bit more, then there's also the option to go all in on a regular HomePod. The HomePod second generation came out earlier this year and it looks almost identical to the original. It comes in white and black, sorry, midnight. It's basically an updated version of the HomePod Mini, but it's larger with four inch high excursion woofers and five tweeters. You can add a second HomePod to create a stereo pair, which sounds even more amazing but even just a single HomePod will impress you. If you're just looking for the smart features like intercom, smart home control, and a voice assistant, then go with the HomePod mini. But if you're looking for amazing sound quality, then the full HomePod is definitely the way to go. The HomePod retails for $300 US. Okay, for the next one, I'm jumping in price here, and I recognize this won't be for everybody, but trust me, it's epic and makes a great Christmas gift. How do I know? Well, my wife got this for me last Christmas. So what is it? This is the Sonos 5 and Project T1 combo, and it retails for $1,300 US. I'm a big fan of Sonos because they offer amazing sound quality. The HomePod I just talked about is good, but this is definitely a step above that. Not only that though, it supports AirPlay, so you can play music from your Mac or iPhone and AirPlay it to your Sonos speakers. I can also play music on my record player and not only hear it on my Sonos 5, but I can also airplay to other Sonos speakers. For me, that means I can play a record on my main floor where I have my turntable, and then I can also listen to it in my basement. I love my Apple Music and I love my HomePod, and this does not replace that, but nothing beats the full, warm, natural sound of playing a record. When I really want to listen to music, vinyl is my preference. I'd always wanted a turntable, but I still wanted to use a quality wireless speaker. The Sonos 5 is a crisp sounding speaker with good bass and it connects to turntables like the Project T1 with a built-in preamp. When I started looking into turntables, the Project T1 was recommended to me, so the fact that it works not only with Sonos but it's actually sold by Sonos as a bundle is pretty cool. I'm not an audiophile, but I have to say it sounds amazing. If you're looking for something epic, then this is it. There's a lot of cheap record players out there and even more cheaper speakers, but usually you get what you pay for. You can also add a second Sonos 5 and for another $700, create a stereo pair. This is my goal, eventually. For anyone interested in playing records but still wants to be able to play music wirelessly using Apple's AirPlay, then this is an amazing gift. I hope you enjoyed my top picks for holiday gifts. Let me know what you think and what I've missed. My very first smart home accessory was a Philips Hue starter kit that I received on Christmas several years ago. It was amazing for me at the time and it led me to my smart home obsession. As we wrap up the last month of the year, I wanna thank you for supporting me and watching my content. Hopefully you can take some time to relax this holiday season and enjoy your smart home with those closest to you. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.